talking about beagles. Woo! It's like my favorite topic to talk about, so be warned. <laughs> and in particular, kind of like the realities of owning a beagle. Okay, and some of these things are probably typical characteristics of beagles, and some of them I'm sure are just Sydney's personality, because she has a strong one. So you know, even now I'm like picturing like I have a dog, I can go on long walks, no problem. I see all these other people walking their dogs. You know, they can walk at a pretty brisk pace. They can walk at a pretty brisk pace, but me on the other hand, not so much. Sydney, being a hound with a very, very keen sense of smell, likes to have her nose stuck on the ground more than, you know, looking up around her, and therefore any small smell that she catches, that she finds of interest. She will stand there sniffing at it for like five minutes. So sometimes when she's in an especially sniffy mood, she'll just stand there for like 15 minutes and you can try and pull her, but she just will not come. She like, and then she'll take a few steps, smell for another 15 minutes, and it just, it's slow going, man. You coming? Here you coming. Oh, another scent. Nope. Oh, are we ready to go? Not quite. So yeah, there's not much walking involved. It's more standing around letting her sniff. So <laughs> she loves that though. And then kind of on the same topic, you know, beagles are hounds which are, you know, bred for hunting, therefore they still have that really strong sense of, you know, prey drive and stuff. She will follow her nose wherever it takes her. No matter where it takes her, no matter what you say or do about the situation. So that's why Sydney has to be kept on a leash at all times because she will follow her nose to the other side of the country if that's where it takes her. And then she'll, when the trail ends, she'll look up and be like, hey, where did Katya go? Not a good idea, especially because she has absolutely zero recall. But she is not reliable. She does not come, and even inside the house, she'll only come if you're holding a treat, because she does not see. <laughs> if there's nothing in it for her, she won't, she won't come. But yeah, I mean, if she smelled like a rabbit on the ground or like another dog even, she'll, she'll listen to her nose rather than listening to anything I have to say. So then I've kind of come up with like a solution to that. Instead of telling her to come, which, she'll never do. Um, we've kind of been practicing, well, for practicing for the past eight years um, for her to stay instead. So she's semi-reliable when she's not like in that hunting mode, like bomb, like a fresh scent. Like if I tell her to stay, oftentimes she will just stand around and then I'll walk up to her and I can, you know, catch her if, need, if she's gotten loose or something. But recall is just a big no. Sydney, come here. Sydney, come here. Sydney, stay. Good girl. Good girl. Sydney, stay. Good girl, okay. Okay. And then summer times, when it's nice and warm, um, she gets a bit hot sometimes, and then also she just really loves spending time outside. But she doesn't necessarily want to walk so much because it's so hot, so she'll just flop on the ground. And then if you're mid-walk and you're like on your way home and she just gets tired, she'll just flop on the grass and she'll just lay there. And you have no chance of moving her whatsoever. Because the moment you like try and drag her a little bit forwards, she'll just flop again. <laughs> and it's, it's actually pretty hilarious, but yeah. And she she's not as light as she looks, so carrying her home is a bit tiring. Sydney, what are you doing? Come here. Hey, babe, up you come. Up you come in. Up we go. What are you doing? No. Sydney. Oh. Really? Really? You don't want to walk? Why not? Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Uh. Another thing that um, surprised me a little bit was how... Sydney is like the opposite of a lap dog. When I pictured getting a dog, I thought I would have like, you know, a shadow practically, you know, a dog that will follow you everywhere, you know, come in your lap if you want it to. Sydney, she's 
she's a very independent personality. She likes her space, she likes her own time. I mean, don't get me wrong, she loves like being in the pack, she always wants to know where everyone is at the same time, but she does She's not a lap dog. Like, she absolutely hates being picked up. She absolutely hates being in your lap. If you don't have a treat, she'll, she'll like, get angry at you if you try and give her a hug. Uh, she'll tolerate it, but she's not happy about it. Okay, and finally, something that actually surprised me is what a good watchdog she is because a lot of, you know, articles on beagles and stuff, you know, they're like, oh, they're really good family dogs, they love everybody, they're so jolly, blah, blah, blah. Sydney, she does, first of all, she does not love everyone. <laughs> but yeah, she is a really good watchdog. Like, if she sees anything suspicious out the window, she will howl. And you know that beagle baying sound? She'll... She'll do that easily for a half an hour if no one stops her. Like, so, you know, we don't have to worry about anyone breaking into our house because she will let everyone in the neighborhood know because her, we, because we've heard from the neighbors, her bark or like her howling, it goes, penetrates straight through the walls, straight down into like all the other people's houses that live anywhere near, near our area. So, yeah. I just thought it would be a cute little video to do about some of the a little more surprising things that I found about owning a beagle in particular Sydney and yeah if you have a dog let me know any like fun or quirky things that it might do or things that surprised you maybe about owning a dog or that dog breed in general or you know what this could apply to any pet any pet you have like some of the surprises you may have had in like owning that kind of pet or whatever you know I love pet stories I love pets so. But I guess that just about concludes this video, so till next time!